Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be going over how you guys can get fully custom skin in Fortnite Battle Royale. For example, Spider-Man, etc. You will only need these sort of things on your desktop right here. Uh, all downloads will be in the description. This video is going to be longer than my usual ones because this is going to take quite a long time. Just because I want to go slowly through it all. Just so you guys make sure. I'm also going to leave this notepad here, maybe down below, so you can just read through it if necessary. But I'm going to be going over it properly in this video. Just so I could be credit Moog and Karudo, uh, Latency, uh, Hefix for all helping uh, find out how to do all this stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop and you just want to go File, open up your uh, TGA file, whatever. Wherever it is, it might be the original. As you can see, mine is already modded. So now you want to go File, go to Save As, and make sure this is on TGA, like so, uh, Targa. And click save replace yeah we're going to replace this just for this video purpose as you can see it's already locked i don't know why it's locked but um whatever and now we can just log out of this and we can go into here like so new model export characters player male medium bodies and then carbide skins carbide black textures now this one here this is your tga file you want to open it with paint.net this is how we're going to make it into a dds file like so and then go to here click save as and then you want to go to save as type turn this to a DDS direct draw surface click save and now wait for this to save okay like so and wait bum, bum, bum. when this is finished it will go back into here this will this will be the TGA so we can delete this okay it doesn't want to delete but whatever but uh, this is the DDS file, so all you want to do is drag this compress in. This is where your NVIDIA Utilities comes into play. Uh, when you run this without NVIDIA Utilities, it will say that you need to download them. But just download them. And then you want to click, go open this, and it says press any key. So we're going to click L, for example. And I'll wait for this to process. Like so. Now click another key, L. And it has saved this as a DDS. Uh, it has uncompressed it so it will work now in Unreal Engine. Just to confirm this is the DDS one. As you see, DDS. Right, so now what you want to do is open your Unreal Engine. You can download this through the um, Epic Games uh, launcher. So when this is downloaded, just open it up. And when it's open, I'll get back to you. Okay, so this is where you really need to pay attention. If you don't already have a project, just click new and uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. But I already have one, so we're going to open this up. Um, so this will load eventually. But um, yeah, you might need to create one. But uh, I'll get back to you when this is finally open because it's going to take a long time while I'm recording. So yeah. Okay, so it opened up and um, all you want to do basically is come into here. We're going to go into our textures folder. Drag this one in here, like so. Uh, yeah, this one. Click Save All. Click Save Selected. Now this will save. Uh, now all you want to do is uh, go up to File, Cook Content for Windows, like so. And this will cook your content. And then you just want to wait. This could take up to like two minutes, three minutes, something like that. Mine will probably take a minute because I've done this before. But if yours is new, it will take a while. But uh, I will get back to you when it's finally cooked content and I'll show you how to do the rest of the steps. Okay, so the cooking is just completed and now we're going to exit out from there. And now all we have to do to do this is open another thing. For example, if we go into my videos, I'm going to drag this here. Go Documents, then Unreal Projects, My Project, Saved. Uh, then you want to go Cooked, Windows No Editor, My Project, Content. And as you can see... Here is a bunch of files. We have Spider-Man as well. I'll maybe make another video on that. But we're going to get the uh, modded U-Bolt. So you just want to drag this to your desktop. And now this is where U-Model comes into play again. You want to find your U-Model. So we're going to open this from my desktop. Just so you know it's legit. U-Model saved. And now we're going to grab this one, the U-Bolt, and drag it to our desktop. Now all you want to do is literally just open up your HXD editor. Like so. Find your Epic Games directory, so mine's my E drive, so you go E, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Content, Packs, 
Pack Chunk Season 1. Pack Chunk 0 S1. Okay? Make sure you click on this one. Because this is where Carbide is located. So to, to do this, yeah, all you want to do is you want to open up another file explorer desktop and find the two u bolts that you just drag to your desktop. So we have modded Omega and we have the carbide body dot u bolt. Make sure you set these to deck at the top, both of them like so, like this. And now what you want to do is copy the first five lines. So one, two, three, four, five, control C, go into here, control F, put it in search for, click data type, hex value, search direction all, and click OK. And now you just want to wait for this to find something. Now what you want to do is you want to click on the beginning of this here, like so. Now go back into this one, control uh, A, and then control E, and get this length here. So now what you want to do is open up a notepad real quick and write this down. So 2793472, like so. Now what you want to do is go back into the pack chunk season one, control E, make sure this is on deck. And now you just want to click backspace once, okay. Go into here, copy the code you just written down, paste it there, and click OK. Now go into the modded u bulk, Control A, Control C, and then Control V into here, and just come up to this button right here and click Save. This will save everything, so don't have to worry. And when you load up your game, you will have your modded texture. It's as easy as that. Uh, as long as you verify your game before every update, you'll be absolutely fine and you will not be banned. I'd recommend doing that. But um, yeah, if you did enjoy, you want me to do some more of these, be sure to leave a like, comment what you want me to do next as well as other things, and turn on notifications, just so you make sure you know every time I upload, you know, because um, hopefully we're going to hit 10k by the end of this month. Sorry if I'm getting a bit stressed out in this video, my PC's acting up today for some reason, it's being really, really slow. But um, thanks for being patient, and yeah. Uh, peace. I'm going to show you some in-game gameplay of me actually with the skin now. So let's get right into that. So I've just loaded up my game and to prove this is today we're going to go high shop. And as you can see here is the hack of our uh, rogue agent. I don't know why they bring that back a bit scummy in my opinion. But if they're doing that, I'm just saying, could they bring back the renegade? Hmm, maybe, maybe, don't know. Could be very cringe what I just said, but I don't care. So we, we did the Omega and as you can see, here is my custom texture for the Omega. As you see, it is very amazing. You are a fot with Lancey's face on the crotch. And we also have a love heart up there. And also a little smiley face on the side of his face. Uh, it's actually as easy as that. And as you see, we have little blue lines around the edge of my character. And on his head. But um, it's basically that easy. If you did enjoy it, as I said, leave a like. Uh, turn on notifications. And um, yeah. Not badable. Verify your game files. You're finished. Alright, and that's it. Peace.